Good morning, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today's May 2nd, 2022. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well today. I pray you guys are all blessed. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. Um, I had a wonderful weekend and a uh, wonderful day off with my wife. And uh, now we're back to see what the Lord has for us next. And uh, I'm very, um, uh, I, I remain in a state of highest readiness and excitement. And I believe that we are very close, so very close to the day that we are waiting for. I don't see any ongoing delays or lengthy delays. I think we're we're right here at the door and um, I think it's still closer than anyone can imagine. Okay, now you guys know um, my, uh, my focus, my uh, way of doing things. I'm always thinking outside the box. I'm always trying to th to think and, and see um, sometimes what other people are not seeing. I know that once we pe went past um, Passover, it, it, everyone was, you know, so many people are looking at second Passover and the next blood moon, and then many people are already going forward to Pentecost and June and... Um, but I'm wondering, you know, I've been wondering, is there something connected to uh, Israel's birthday, but um, on the Hebrew calendar? Okay. And I see some connections here, and uh, no one knows the day or the hour, so it's not uh, like I can come out and say this has to be the day or this is going to be the day. Um, as you guys know, I mean, we're all searching for the day. So what we're, what we're trying to do is to get information out to people and, um, to share what we see personally. And, um, so there's something very interesting about, um, Israel's Independence Day this year. And I think it may tie in with this weekend of events that they did for the uh, correspondence dinner. And um, here's the connections that I'm gonna make for you. And I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as I can um, and as, as short as I can. And uh, then you, you have the information and you can consider it. You can study other things um, for yourself and um, but here's the information. Okay, so we have the, this weekend uh, that just passed was the correspondence dinner. Okay, April 30th. It's the same date. They've done it in the past. They they always do it between like April 26th, April 29th, April 30th, May 1st. Okay, this is the this is the timing on the calendar. They do it every year, and as they mentioned. They hadn't done this in six years. Since Obama's last year in office, 2016, they had not done another um, uh, correspondence dinner. Well, this year they have this headline that came out. White House Correspondence Dinner Weekend returns with a flood of events. Okay. Then they have the main speaker is Trevor Noah. Okay. Trevor Noah. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of the details about Trevor Noah, but if you put in to Google search Trevor Noah flood, uh, there's actually a lot of connections to Trevor Noah, um, and there's a lot of articles that come up having to do with flooding in New York, having to do with an ark, having to do with a lot of different things that have happened over, the, over, over time that somehow Trevor Noah has been connected a lot to flooding events. Okay, so beyond the fact that 
he was the speaker and they they're returning with a flood of events and his name is Noah okay could this somehow be a seven-day warning of Noah okay a seven-day warning of Noah well let's take a look now at the information about uh, the new moon of Israel okay now here's here's an interesting detail that there's no discrepancy at all on any of the calendars either Hebrew or Torah if you have the expected new moon of May 2nd okay the Israel based observation new moon of May 2nd which is expected tonight almost now we're we're coming up upon the sighting of the new moon in Israel I'm in I'm in at 8 a.m. Uh, Central Time but it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So in a few hours in Israel, they're going to be uh, seeing their new moon. Well, this is day one. So you have on the Hebrew calendar, Monday, May 2nd, is the first of Ayar. And then you've got on the Torah calendar also, May 2nd is the first of Ayar. Okay. So this is interesting because in the, over the last couple months, there's been different discrepancies and they've been a day off or one day off or two days off well this year this month right now everybody's on the same page okay everybody's on the same page exactly where we are we are today is IR one starting tonight with the new moon okay okay so you can check that you can check all of that for yourself now if we go to the Torah calendar and we want to pull up Ayar 5, which is the day of Israel's Independence Day, okay? And I've got some information here on the right-hand side uh, that'll explain that'll explain this, okay? So we go, um, uh, Ayar 5 would be May 6th and 7th, okay? We've got Ayar 1 is May... 2nd to 3rd, IR 2 is May 3rd to 4th, IR 3 is May 4th to 5th, IR 4 is May 5th to 6th, and IR 5 is May 6th to 7th, okay? So that would be IR 5. Now, why does it show um, Yam Hatzmuot? Yam Hatzmaut, Israel Independence Day, May 4th to 5th, 2022. Israel is going to be celebrating their Independence Day. This is their 74th birthday. Okay, Israel's 74th birthday. Not on the Gregorian calendar. This is on the Hebrew calendar. This is when they celebrate Independence Day on IR5. When is Independence Day in Israel? Yam Hatzmaut. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I'm not Jewish by descent. Um, Israeli Independence Day commemorates the Declaration of Independence of Israel in 1948 and is the official national holiday of the state and the only official non-working day in Israel. Okay, the holiday is celebrated on 5 Iyar according to the Jewish calendar or is transferred to the preceding Thursday if 5 Iyar falls on Friday or Saturday. Okay, now this is the reason this is the reason they're, they're moving this up to May 4th and to May 5th. Okay, because when IR5 falls on a weekend, they transfer the celebration to Thursday. So they're going from Wednesday to Thursday. And this is their, uh, so the, the celebration for Israel is going to start Wednesday night, May 4th. Okay. It's going to start Wednesday night, May 4th, and it's going to go into Thursday, May 5th. Thursday, May 5th is a non-working day. And this, as it says here, 
It's the official national holiday of the state and the only official non-working day in Israel. So they gave everybody off on this day. And it's officially a day off for the entire country. Okay. And this goes from Wednesday night, May 4th, to Thursday, May 5th in Israel. Now, why do they do this when their actual day of of uh, of their independence is actually IR5, May 6th to May 7th? Okay. Well, that's because it falls on a weekend. So they change it. They move it up to a Thursday. Okay. This holiday is celebrated on IR5 according to the Jewish calendar, calendar or is transferred to the preceding Thursday if 5 IR falls on Friday or Saturday. Okay? So this is the information for you why this week is so important. Now Israel is in these is going to be in the celebration. And they're going to be well, what are they going to be doing? Well, maybe they're going to be doing all the things that is said in the Bible, like eating and drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage, and they're going to be celebrating. It's going to be festivals, and they're going to, you know, and what does the Bible say about turning your feasts into mourning? Okay, so this could be a, an absolute day where they could catch Israel off by surprise and, and do a surprise attack, and Israel could be, totally blindside, blindsided by this uh, because they're not expecting anything over this, this next week. It doesn't seem like it's too big of a deal in Israel or too big of a deal uh, for the rest of the world. And yet, and yet it is a day on, on Israel's calendar that is very, very significant. The, the whole prophecy of Jesus has to do with the rebirth of Israel. It has to do with the fig tree generation. This generation shall not pass. And this is, you know, for those who are still expecting a seven-year tribulation, the 74th birthday is kind of like the cutoff. If, if you go past the 74th birthday, then you go past the 80 years. Okay. So I know a lot of people are looking at uh, May 14th and May 15th as this cutoff, but on the Hebrew calendar, the cutoff is not May 14th and 15th. It's May 6th and May 7th. And according to the, their celebration, it would be May 4th and May 5th. So I think that, that there's reason to say we should be watching. We should continue to, to, to stay watchful through this week and May Fourth, which is when their celebration begins, through May seventh, okay. I think that would be wise for us to remain vigilant for a, a possible attack on Israel and and quite possibly also uh, the rapture of the church. We are waiting for the rapture of the church. Now, could this be connected to a seven day warning from April thirtieth, when they had a flood of events coming? There's a return with a flood of events. Uh, Trevor Noah was the speaker April 30th, and then they have a seven-day warning to Israel's Independence Day. For yet seven days I will cause it to rain upon the earth, 40 days and 40 nights, and every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating, drinking, marrying, and being given in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Okay? So the day Noah entered the ark, seven days previous, right? Noah enters the ark seven days previous. Well, they are where? What were they doing? They had this big, huge gala dinner the whole weekend. Okay, so it was a huge weekend, a flood of events. All right, and what were they doing? They were eating, drinking, and partying. It's a nerd prom, okay, all of these things that were happening, and they called it a flood of events, okay? Do they know what is coming? Is this a, a programming of things to come connected to Trevor Noah, okay? So, for yet seven days I will cause it to rain upon the earth, 40 days and 40 nights. Every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth, just as it was in the days of Noah, so also will it be in the days of the Son of Man. 
People were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage up to the day Noah entered the ark. Then the flood came and destroyed them all. Okay, so I think there's reason to, to not necessarily right now to be expectant that things could happen this week, but I think that if, if we uh, search out um, where we are, what is really happening, we stay close to all of the, the, the actual news of um, how close uh, World War Three is, how close that pushing of the button is to nuclear war. I mean, the, the threats are so close. I mean, we, we, we came up to this, this last weekend and the threats were right there that even, see, and this may even tie in with uh, this May 9th deadline uh, of Russia. You know, Russia's May Day is my, May 9th. And they were talking about they may declare war within the next two days. And that pointed to May Day on our calendar. But then they have their own May Day on May 9th. And um, there's like a limit. There's a time limit they're putting on when they may declare World War III. Okay? And obviously, World War III, any type of declaration is going to, is going to go right alongside of... of definitive action so we have we have all of these details anywhere from may 4th may 5th may 6th may 7th and then through the weekend up through next monday may 9th huge reasons to remain vigilant so that's what i wanted to share with you i don't want to be any longer right now and um I will continue to search out these things, but here is the, the, the details. You have the details about why this may be a seven-day warning, how it's connected to the Hebrew calendar, true Independence Day in Israel, May 6th and 7th, which they're celebrating Wednesday to Thursday, May 4th and May 5th of 2022. Have a wonderful day. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.